Okay, for part three, we want to change the size of the camera. Now, the only way we can do that is to do the following. First of all, right click on the camera, then right click on the player. Okay, so they're both orange. Now do Alt P with the, with the cursor up there, Alt P, and we're going to clear the parent. Okay, all right, now we're going to make the player bigger. So I'm going to go S and size him up about like that. Now I'm going to clear, uh, as we go up here, scale is 3.9, almost 4. I'm going to go Control A and reset that back to 1. Okay, now I'm going to parent the camera back to the player. All right, so we're going to go Control P. All right, and now I'm going to scale everything down and the camera will go with it. So we're going to go S. Okay, go that far, stop, back up a bit, S, well, maybe one more, S, all right. So now, but we now have to uh, do control A and rotation and scale, and we're back. Okay, so now if we go P, the camera follows, and if we needed to, we could move the camera up a touch, but it will it follows much more closely but gets a pretty good view of where the player is and I don't think he's going to get buried behind any walls. Okay, now the light. Where is the light? Let's go to 7. This one maybe should now be brought a little bit closer. Let's go back. Yeah, a little bit better there. And if you want, now you can click on the camera, GZ. You might want to pull them. Yeah, well, you can play with that, but that's basically it. All right, now let's put in some uh, objects that he has to, like candy that he's going to collect, eat, uh, distribute to the poor, I don't know, something. All right, so we're going to use for this one, we're going to use round objects. Now, we could use UV spheres, but they are, take up a lot more memory because they have a lot more vertices. So we'll get the same basic effect. We're going to use icospheres. Okay, and again, it's going to go where? Let's go to seven. There he is. All right, so we'll put him it somewhere there. We'll go back to one. Okay, and we'll pull him up. And I am going to smooth him. So that gives you a reasonable. Okay, and we're going to make it into what color candy we, we want. Uh, we've got red, green, blue. Uh, let's go to purple. There's a nice purple color. All right, we're going to have purple candy. And I am going to size him down a bit. OK. And then go Control A, rotation and scale, and get the scale back to 1. All right. Now on this, we're going to give it a property of candy, C-A-N-D-Y. And we are allowed Mennonites to eat candy, as far as I know. So I'll make this a string. OK. Now we I want this to collide with the player. So we're going to go to collision. Let's go up here to full size. So when he collide, oh, we didn't put a thing on the player. We have to go back. So let's go back to the player. And uh, we'll call him, uh, well, we'll just call him blue, I guess, for want of a better word, because he is blue string. Okay, so now we've got a property, and we will go back to this guy. So now when this guy collides with any property called blue material, whatever, we want it to disappear. So it is going to um, end object. Okay. Now, at this point, no points are being, uh, but we are going to, we have the candy one here that we are going to be using to collect an overall score through the player. I'll show you how to do that. So let's go back, control, up arrow, and um, 
let's just move forward so move forward and the camera didn't follow him. what happened to my camera interesting oh it was it had to be have to be on the zero uh, have to have zero pressed on the number pad to have camera view so that the camera will follow him all right so we go and he disappears let's get some points and then we can copy that all over the place so let's go to the player again and now we are going to have a collision with candy so if we say collision with candy alright we are going to have a new property here called uh, 10 PTS and I'll keep it consistent I'll do 10 points this will be an integer and we don't want this one to uh, appear uh, well we could for right now but I'm not we want to send this okay uh, in a, a message through this alright so we've got this one is going to send a message alright and we don't have the object yet that it's going to send it to so we'll have to make that but we'll call it um, new score and it is going through the property of 10 points I don't know really what this does because all we're doing is using this to send a message alright so that is that for right now so now we need to create an empty that will pass the score up to the debug properties if we just put the um, uh, the score well it, it, it's you end up with a whole bunch of 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 points in the thing this way you just get one overall score alright we are going to go add empty and we're gonna go with arrows and it's gonna be lost again so I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna go with one 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 and we've basically found it again so I will pull him over I'll pull him up I'm gonna go G Y to get him back alright and then G Z remember he's sort of like a non object I just want to be able to find him so I'll leave him there and then I'm gonna go S this one has no size so the the scale really doesn't matter but we'll do control A and put it back to one alright so there he is and this one we will put a uh, new property of um, points alright and this will be um, an integer and we do want this one to be displayed alright now this uh, we want to receive a message okay and we want to receive the message new score and I think again here we turn that on just even turn that to one alright and then we go actuator we want to go now to uh, property here and the property we want to add to the property of points 10 points now I've chosen to go up by 10 you can choose to go up by whatever alright so now we go to go back to here to make sure that we are sending that property to um, the correct place now so we now send this property to empty I should rename that but I'm not going to so it's gonna send a property of new score and when it sends it to here it's got the property new score when it receives that message it then says that we're gonna um, display this uh, by adding 10 points in the uh, debug property so let's go here game and show debug properties alright let's go back and I'm gonna go to the 7 and let's add a few more of these so we're gonna go shift D G uh, Y shift D G Y and shift D G Y so there's we should see 40 points come up if we've done this correctly 
go back to zero, scroll in P, 10, 20, 30, 40 points. That ends this part of what we're trying to do here.